this car, I gotta put some gas in here too. I really do. I could like, with this tank like this, I could drive it all the way where I'm going at and come back and like can fill it up like for the next day or so. I always drive my cars all the way towards the E or I always do a half a tank depending uh, if I feel like stopping at a gas station. Half a time I don't feel like stopping at a gas station. Sometimes I do like stopping at a gas station. But if I'm on the go or something, I don't think about it. This thing a pusher though, I ain't gonna lie. But it can add a little more boost. posting this video i just so i'm just wanting to do this video car been great really great overall really great i think i'm going about i'm about to hit 140 140 000 miles as you can see don't gotta worry about that 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 in order to check the oil you gotta have the car in standstill uh they gotta be like in a standstill position they gotta be on level ground I'm end up probably dropping this video. I'm just uh, dropping the video. Um, so we can e either use a Kelman uh, supercharger or we can use a supercharger from uh, the C32. I probably insert some pics uh, from that, but I am doing major research on this process. I don't think it's rocket science. If you, I feel like everything is possible. Anything is possible. I've seen the craziest things uh, in my lifetime. Look at that AMG. out guys it's a lovely rainy day foggy day i love driving in this weather kind of shifting to the side a little bit but after doing research like i said man i think we can add some boost to this car that it deserves because i remember i mentioned in the other video that i don't think there's no any upgrades for it but it feels like it's very lenient you know with them C32s, them AMGs that got a supercharger on there, you could like, they got crazy amount of things that you can upgrade and stuff, it's crazy. But anyway, I'll see y'all later. Peace out. Got a cool little truck right there. So guys, as y'all can see, this is the Kelman uh, supercharger uh, kit. Like I said, you got to get the supercharger. Um, you have to do modifications uh in order for this supercharger uh to fit in particular uh which you really probably can't see because i am recording horizontal i had screen recorded this from my phone i had to figure out how can i like have it like widescreen and stuff um i ain't figured that out yet but as you can see this is i think the supercharger about 9 to 10k don't don't you know get me on that but with all the modifications and extra little things you need, yeah, I think so. But honestly, I really think it's way simpler than what this kit actually offers and stuff. Because I could just use a supercharger from the C32 and probably get uh, the airbox and all that little stuff. Less probably like 2K or a K. As you can see, this is a supercharger right here. Um, this is also from a Crossfire SRT6, uh, which I believe had started off the Hellcats and all that because this was basically the first, basically the Chrysler Mopar. It was basically like the first supercharger, and you know, they had an SRT uh badge, SRT6, and you got SRT8, but ba this is like the baby supercharger and all that. Um, which is interesting, but these cars are rare to get by the Crossfire with the SRT6. I've seen uh, videos and stuff on them. Um, people was like, they not getting appreciated. Like they not, like they not get recognized basically. And I could agree with that. But as you can see, this is exactly like my engine just got supercharged the air box and all the extra little hoses on there. Cause r did you not know that Mercedes actually you know, basically built the undergarments for the Crossfire. It has the same, uh, I believe, the N112 uh, engine, which was from, like, 2000 to 2005, which 
basically i could probably put this in my mercedes but i don't want to go through the hassle of doing all that. i just want to slap a supercharger on there and go from there as you can see this is a crossfire, uh, crossfire. uses 3.2 liter like mine is the v6 but it got the amg supercharger on there and mine is a five speed and i was like a five speed like you know and it's the c32 uh, amg 3.2 liter v6 saying like my car i could just throw a supercharger on there look got 349 horses under there and this that car get attention as you can see this is the n12 i was telling you about um they got all the displacements and it's a 10 uh, twin screw supercharger on there and it tells you the year from 2000 to 2005 which is the w203 which is like all the uh the models like c32 etc like that but i'm continuing to do more research and more research because i want to make this happen um i think it's pretty interesting i know i'm gonna have to uh collect resources uh just to, to get it where it needs to but i probably need to i don't know probably get my truck and porsche right which the porsche is right i can like drive that anywhere but i actually want to get it 100 percent. same with the truck uh, mercedes i just been daily in it because i love that car i really do uh, it's a very good car, reliable, especially if you take care of it. We want to do an oil change, little things like that. I think I'm getting like a little oil leak too, because I know that gaskets, uh, oil rings, and little stuff could like uh, fail over time. Mind you, we hitting 140,000 miles on this car, so we probably need to go ahead and re replace some couple things. We probably just need to inspect, look over, and little things like that. But anyway, stay tuned. Uh, hopefully, preferably, uh, we can actually do this. Um, only time will tell. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to be at from here and there. I don't know if I'm going to be doing, like, another project. I don't know. Um, but time will tell. I always know I'm going to end up doing something. But I want, I want to do this. I really do. Somebody did it from uh, Mercedes-Benz World, but, I mean, it was specific, but it wasn't too pacific in a way i wish they just had videos there's no videos or anything like that so i want to actually do i feel like these cars especially um the e320 i got need to be like i guess recognized in a way even though you got the e55 above it i feel like the v6 the underdog could you know compete in some type of way and i love the e55 i love the uh the e430 i do great cars but that's it if y'all stay this far towards the video man make sure to subscribe and like and let me know if it's possible i know it's possible everything looks so plain in sight to me like i know it's possible um but let's go sub in thank you really appreciate it stay tuned once again Let's go, Auto 3 Garage. We out.